One of Excel's most useful features is its ability to allow you to collaborate your ideas and documents with many other individuals at one time. This is especially true in the Office 365 version of Excel, as it's very ingrained with OneDrive and other online capabilities. What we're going to look at in this video is specifically how to check for accessibility errors within your document before you choose to share it or make it visible to other individuals. So what I have open right now is just a quarterly sales document which has been completed. We have four tabs of data here. But let's say that we don't know for sure if there are any errors here at this point, but we want to make sure the document is finalized and that it's easy to read for all individuals across all computers. In order to do that, we're going to access what's called the Accessibility Checker. So this can be found in the Review tab of the ribbon up here, right over here where it says Check Accessibility. Now, as you can see from this little Tell Me More box down at the bottom, Accessibility Checker lets us make sure that the file follows accessibility best practices. So this makes sure that it's formatted in a correct way, and it's formatted in a way that's very easy to read for all individuals. So let's click on that. And you see this little um, box pops up on the right here, actually comes out of the right side of your document. And it gives you a lot of warnings, for example. And if you go into these warnings, it tells you why you should fix them and steps to fix them. Now, although the word warning makes it sound very, very dire, these aren't necessarily problems that you do have to fix. This is just more of suggestions for you. Um, so this is just inspection results that come out of the accessibility checker, and it's just some suggestions that Excel offers you for maybe making it a little easier to navigate and use the data. So for example, we have this section on merged cells. So I'm just going to click this first one, and as you can see in our data set, it highlights our titles here for first quarter sales. Now, it says, why fix this? Spreadsheets should have simple structures so that they can be easily navigated and understood by people with disabilities. Merged cells, such as this one, as you can see, it's merged across many columns, can cause a screen reader to navigate in unexpected ways, such as repeating or skipping a row. And this is true. I've actually encountered this before in some documents that have merged cells. It can make it very difficult to read the rest of the data. So, as you can see, there are different steps we can use to fix this. We can choose to unmerge these cells and use a header instead to create our title. Now, below that, let's just minimize this little section, we have hard to read text contrast. So if we click on one of those, you can see the range that it highlights. And it says that text may become difficult to read when its color is too similar to the color behind it. So increasing the contrast will make the text easier to read, especially when viewing documents in bright light. So again, it'll give you some steps on how to fix this. You can change the cell's format, specifically the cell range. You can change the font color or the fill color of the cell to increase the contrast with the font. So to demonstrate that, why don't we make the fill color of these cells yellow? So on the Home tab, there's this little fill icon. If we click on that, you can see that now the names that are in these cells really pop. So this is something that the accessibility checker had allowed us to actually notice and fix when we're sending our data to other individuals who may need these contrast options to be a little bit more apparent. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here. And click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.